You already know who it is. It's your boy Mike Twenty One Mills, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mega Man Zero. This is episode number five, and um, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go down here and talk to my boy Sobo because I think he might have a little some some for us. Because you know, last time he gave us a triple rod. Let's see what he got this time. Hmm. Zero. I created a new weapon for you. It's called. Oh, uh, I haven't named it yet. Say, I'll just call it Chill Boomerang. You got the shield boomerang. So let's test this bad boy out. Look at this. What you do, you charge it up, you can throw it, it comes back to you like a boomerang. You know, it's pretty simple. And it's a shield. And then you stay away, stay away, stay away. Oh, okay, okay. You can run away from it, but it's gonna catch you eventually. So yeah, that's the shield boomerang. Pretty useless. I mean I guess you could use it. It um deflects enemy shots. Enemy buster shots. You know the little yellow balls that yellow lemons balls I don't know what you whatever you want to call them it deflects those choose an option begin mission we're gonna go to find shuttle I'm pretty sure yeah find shuttle some of the abducted reploids seem to have hijacked an enemy transport plane and have now escaped but the plane disappeared over the desert they might have crash landed in the desert and so we sent our scouts to look for them However, our scouts are having difficulty finding them due to the hordes of hostile enemies in the area. I'm sorry, but will you go and help their rescue? Will you accept? Of course I will, CL. We're gonna do this. And uh, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm doing this really out of order, this level. I just, because the boss of this level is weak to fire, but I haven't got the fire chip yet. So the episode I do in the next level really should come. I mean, the, the level I do in the next episode really should come before this episode. I mean, this level. I'm just doing this level because well, I like the desert level. I mean, I think it's a pretty fun level. And the boss of this level, you can take it out pretty easily without any elemental chip. It's just weak to the fire, so it'll just be faster if I used the fire chip. But you know, since I don't have it, I'm just gonna use my normal Z saber. And defeat them pretty easy. Well, you'll see, you you guys will see. But yeah, this dev desert level is pretty straightforward. I mean, it's a desert. I mean, what else is it gonna be besides hot? I like the background, how it's you know how I don't know exactly what that's called, but how you can sort of see the air and you can tell that it's really hot. I, I always like that. I always thought that was weird. Like it hurts my eyes when I see that outside. You know, you can like see the 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 sky like moving or whatever. Same thing, like if you're barbecuing or whatever. Yeah, this guy, you want to shoot him with the with the Z Buster. Is that what it would be called? I guess it's still a Mega Buster, even though it's zero. But yeah, you could run up in and slash him with the Z Saber, but um, it's a lot easier to shoot him. But sometimes, as you see here, the rock, those little rocks will get in the way, and you'll miss. Those rocks can also hit you, so you know it's it's a lot better to just shoot it instead of hitting it with the Z Saber. My name is Anubis Necromancer the third. I work for Fefnir, one of the four guardians. I'm the king of destruction and the ruler of the desert. The reploids you are looking for are deep in the desert. If you wish to rescue them, you need to defeat me first. Unguard, old timer. So yeah, this is Necromancer the third, and um, he's pretty simple. All you gotta do is just, you know, be patient and hit him. He stands around doing nothing, basically. He'll throw his staff at you, and then he'll catch it on the other side of the screen. So all you gotta do is dash back and forth hitting him. Here, I'll show you right here. Hit him, he throws his staff, comes on the other side of the screen, hit him again, he falls down. Then he has these pillars rise up to try and crush you. And they will take a, a lot of damage. I don't think they kill you in one hit. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but I don't think they do. But, you know, I haven't been hit by him in a long time, so I don't remember. But, yeah, it's, he's pretty, he's a fairly easy boss. 
just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Slash them, dash to the other side, slash them again. And you know me, I want to be fancy and try to destroy him with a regular slash so he cuts in half. So, you know, I have to go through all everything one more time. But that's alright, I mean, either way, he's gonna die. And there we go. Slice them, slice them right down the middle by his shoulder. Right down the middle by his doesn't make no sense. But okay, yeah, you defeat him, you get a cyber elf. Now you gotta go past them. Hey, are you alright? Hmm. Oh, I'm alright. You came to rescue me. Thank you very much. Can you walk? Yes. I'll help you get back to the base. Follow me. Thank goodness. There was a survivor. Thank you, Zero. I'll have a medic team standing by. Will you take him back to the entry point? Of course I will, but first I'm going to leave him behind and come get this life. But yeah, that's the thing about this part. You think the, the mission would be over after you defeat the boss, but no. You got to go past him, grab this guy, and take him back through the whole entire level back to the beginning. And you got to protect him the whole way. Now, I've never had this guy die before, but you really shouldn't let him get hit because it'll take off of your points if you let him get hit. And this is the next use for the triple ride. Pretty much the only use for it that I've that I found besides the hitting through walls thing. Look at that, the darn bird got in the way. The birds are usually pretty easy to avoid because they'll give they give themselves away. They make a loud noise and then you know they're coming, you just jump and slash like a crazy man and you'll be sure to hit them. But yeah, that's a triple ride in action. It's good for this to bounce on those little fills. You're not really supposed to let the soldier get hit. It takes away from your points at the end of the level. But if you don't care about the points, then you can just kind of go through the level pretty easily. The only thing you gotta do is just, um, you have to go through slow, because as soon as you guys saw at the beginning when I left him to get the life, if you go off the screen, if he goes off the screen, he's gonna sit there like a bump in a log and not follow you. So you gotta make sure he's right behind, right by you the whole time. Which really sucks. They should've did it like they did CL in the very first level. She stayed right by me the whole time. You guys saw how fast I was going through that level. And CL was right behind me pretty much the whole time. Even if she did go off the screen a little bit, she caught up pretty fast. And it was pretty cool. I mean, look at that. I had to go right back for that guy. Jeez, keep up. I know you're hurt. I know you're like, you know, you're like dying, but keep up, man. Keep up. I'm taking time out of my day to come save you. The least you could do is stay with me. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me, let me just stop. Let me just stop. But, um, yeah, we're almost back to the beginning. Almost being the key word. But yeah, it's a fairly, it's probably, this is probably the most boring episode, I mean, boring level in the game, just because the second part of it, I mean, this is a long level, it's crazy how long this level is, well, I guess it's not crazy, but it's like two levels, it's the same level twice, really, I mean, if you think about it, it's just the same level twice, except when it's an escort mission, which I really hate escort missions in any kind of game, if you have to defend someone else, I'm focused on me, I'm a selfish person, I'm sorry. But yeah, we're at the end, here we go. Thank goodness I'm saved. Zero has brought back a survivor. Hurry and take him to the medic. That was not a girl's voice at all. Ooh, okay. Mission complete. I'm glad we could save him. Thank you, Zero. Success, mission success. See, mission success, only got 16 points because the guy got hit a couple times. Clear time, I got 20 points because you had to do that mission under 5 minutes to get all 20 points. That's how long the mission was. Another cobran has been saved thanks to you. According to his report, enemies are planning to conduct a large-scale attack on the resistance base. If that happens, we will need your help again. We appreciate your continued support, Zero. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, yeah, it's your boy, Mike21Mills, and I'm signing off. Yeah!